part one of 642 tiny things to draw. This time I will paint a chocolate chip. More than a year ago, I filled several prompts in this book, but since I'm no longer happy with them, I'd like to paint over them and also fill more pages, more prompts. This prompt where I was supposed to draw or paint a chocolate chip, I had already filled, but a few months ago, I primed the spot with gesso primer because I didn't like the drawing anymore and had planned to paint something new on it, but hadn't gotten around to it yet. I think the end result doesn't really look like chocolate chips. If I didn't know they were chocolate chips, I wouldn't recognize it. But I still had a lot of fun and that's the most important thing, I think. Part 2 of 642 tiny things to draw. Today I will paint over the prompt where I should paint or draw a pad of butter. I drew something on this page more than a year ago, but since I no longer like it, I would like to paint over it. And this time I used acrylic paints. Like last time, I forgot to mention it in the last short, I used gesso primer again instead of a white acrylic paint. I thought maybe the end result would be more matte and not stick together as sometimes happens with acrylic paint. And so far the pages are not sticking together, so I think that's a good idea. Yeah, and I think the end result looks better than it did before. That means I'm a bit proud of how it turned out. Part 3 of 642 tiny things to draw. This time I will paint over the prompt where I should paint or draw a kumquat. The drawing I painted over was made about one year ago with color pencils. The end result didn't turn out the way I had hoped but that's still totally fine because through this book, by painting or drawing a lot, I want to get better at creating art and I think it looks better than before. Part 4 of 642 tiny things to draw. Today I will paint over the prompt where I should paint or draw a peapot. I was quite looking forward to paint this prompt again because I thought it would be quite fun to paint all the green piece. And I enjoyed it very much, even though it took longer than I had actually planned. I also think that this painting turned out pretty well. I like it very much. Part 5 of 642 Tiny Things to Draw Today I will paint over the prompt row I should paint or draw an eraser. The drawing I painted over was made about one year ago with color pencils, but since I no longer like it, I decided to paint over it. I photographed the template for this painting myself and it was a lot of fun to paint this eraser especially because I have never painted such fine things such as letters with acrylic paints before. And I have to say that I'm very proud of how it turned out, I'm really happy with the end result. Part 6 of 642 Tiny Things to Draw Today I will paint a firecracker and I have to admit that at first I didn't know what a firecracker was and first had to find out what it was and if I'm completely honest I don't even know if what I've painted is actually a firecracker I hope it's right I had a lot of fun painting this time again but anyway I am very happy with the end result I think it's very beautiful Part 7 of 642 Tiny Things to Draw Today I will paint a computer memory stick. I think I could have made the sketch a bit more accurate, but even though the proportions look a bit weird, it was still a lot of fun to paint. And I like the end result. Part 8 of 642 Tiny Things to Draw Today I will paint a walnut shell. Painting this walnut shell was very easy and a lot of fun. I usually find simple things like this the easiest to paint because I just have to apply the colors and then blend them. And then if I want to, I just add the details at the end, sometimes with paint that I've thinned a little with water. I like the end result very much. Part 9 of 642 Tiny Things to Draw Today I will paint 
a spider. First, I looked for a template. I wanted to paint a spider that should not look very scary but rather harmless and nice. And I think I have found a good template. As I understand it, this is a jumping spider. I think the end result turned out well. Part 10 of 642 Tiny Things to Draw Today I will paint Goose Down. I had a lot of fun painting again this time. Painting all those feathers or whatever they're called was very fun and I also enjoyed painting the gosling. I quite like this painting and think it turned out well. <laughs> 